Hey guys, it's Monsel with Nutripedia, and today we're going to talk about how to use a ketogenic diet to improve your brain health. And I'm going to tell you how to take a shortcut so you don't even have to go through the whole diet. You can just get all the benefits of ketone bodies for your brain without going through that process. Now the reason this is important to me right now is because I just got back from Houston where I visited the NASA Johnson Space Center, which is the epicenter for space travel in the United States over the past 40 years. The one thing that they're focused on is how to travel long distances in space. And humans can only do that in one way, in my opinion. That's through a ketogenic diet and through the use of ketone bodies. When we talk about ketogenesis, we're talking about one thing specifically. When your brain stops utilizing glucose for energy, such as sugars, carbohydrates, and even proteins, your body will start to produce ketone bodies. Now these ketone bodies are specific chemicals such as beta-hydroxybutyrate, which help your brain to function without carbohydrates. Now getting ketone bodies into your system can be done one of two different ways. Now the first way is a little bit harder and that's using nutritional ketosis. Nutritional ketosis just means you've depleted the glucose from your body, your liver, and now you're using ketone bodies as your primary source of energy. Or you can take exogenous ketones, which are basically ketone bodies that you take in some kind of supplement form that boosts your blood and brain level ketone bodies. Now, Tracking is not necessary, but if you do, you want to make sure you stay within the 0.5 to 1 millimolar range so, so that you do not have any kind of negative consequences of using ketone bodies. Now the number one benefit of using exogenous ketones is they are actually a more efficient fuel source. Now for you, you can take these exogenous ketone supplements and you're going to find uh, more BDNF in the hippocampus of your brain which improves memory formation and learning. You will find many neuroprotective benefits which is why these, have, these ketone bodies have been studied for Alzheimer's disease, senile dementia, and many others. And for something like long-term space travel, it's a great fuel source no matter where you are in this planet or in this universe. Specifically for the NASA scientists, it's important to be able to have a fuel source that doesn't require consistent food. Now you and I might be able to go to a grocery store and get food whenever we want, but that doesn't mean that people traveling through space can do the same. And this isn't just important for astronauts and people who are traveling through space. You and I can use the same thing when we are either not able to find food in our immediate vicinity or maybe the food options aren't that great when we're traveling, for example. Having the metabolic flexibility to just use ketone bodies is incredibly effective. Now, personally, I like a nutritional ketogenic approach because I find there's an evolutionary component associated with it. You see, if I haven't eaten, from an evolutionary perspective, my body is going to have more energy, more focus, and more concentration because I need to find some food. I need to go out, I need to hunt, or I need to find some food. And I get to harness that now, in today's world, by fasting for longer periods, getting into a ketogenic state, and maintaining my workflow. Now, if you don't want to go on a ketogenic diet because of family reasons, social reasons, or you just are very active from an exercise perspective, I totally understand, and you can still see some of the benefits by using supplemental ketones. Now, using MCT oil can actually help you to produce ketones on your own. Many people take MCT oil and they find that their beta-hydroxybutyrate levels are higher just from taking the medium-chain triglycerides. But an important study from Dr. Dominic D'Agostino showed that the MCT oil could actually help shuttle ketone bodies through the blood-brain barrier. So if you're just taking ketone bodies like beta-hydroxybutyrate, you might not have all the advantages unless you take it with MCT oil. 
Now there are multiple exogenous ketone products that you can take, one of which is a keto canna product that comes from recommendations through Tim Ferriss and many others. And this is formulated by Patrick Arnold, who is a very well-renowned chemist in this field. Now the other option is Keto OS, which is actually MCT powder plus exogenous ketones like beta-hydroxybutyrate. So that this Keto OS product can cross the blood-brain barrier efficiently and without the need for some other MCT oil. Now my only problem with Keto OS is it's quite expensive and hopefully it'll get cheaper, but that's something to keep in mind if you want to go the route of exogenous ketones. Now just so that you guys are updated, I'm actually going to practice a one month experiment with a ketogenic diet. So I'll be in nutritional ketosis. The first, of, the first week I'll be using exogenous ketones as well. So I can report back to you both from my perspective and the perspective of my girlfriend. So we have an N equals two study for both males and females. Now the great thing about this is I'm trying to utilize these self experiments in order to work with the University of Texas and work on a ketogenic experiment to show you exactly how it works that ketogenesis can improve your cognitive performance. So guys, if you have any interest in the ketogenesis or just exogenous ketones, go ahead and click on the link right here and you'll be taken to the Nutripedia page and learn more about it. I'll see you guys next time.